Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn how to transform our data to get the comma separated list for a particular data set. For example, here we have the name of the employees and we have the list of skill set for those employees. Let me show you here. Let's say if I'm selecting the first employee, this employee has the five skill set and this is the list of those five skill set. Now we want to get the comma separated list by employee name. Like here we have done, we have all the unique employee name, then comma separated list of skill sets. Now to achieve this, we have used two methods. First, we have used filter and text join function to achieve this. Another way we have used the concatenate x function in DAX. I will explain you both of the ways so please watch this video till the end. Let me go to the skill set data sheet. Here we have created the table of this data. So let me copy this and let's add a new workbook press ctrl n and paste it. You can see the table design and this is table 1. If you have the normal data, let me copy this table once again and let's paste it as a value. And if you want to create the table of this one, you can simply select and then you can press Ctrl L. Now this create table window, the small window will be popped up and here you can check my data has headers and just click on OK. So this table has been created here. You can see the name of the table which is table 2. You can rename this as per your requirement, so I am keeping it as it is. If you want to uncheck this bandit rows, you can uncheck this. Now it will look proper thing. Alright. Now, the tip number one, we will use filter and text join function. So, let's take the headers here, only headers. And let's paste those headers here. Here we will get the name, the unique list of the name. Then we will get here the skill set. To get the name, we will use the unique formula. And the array, we will take this one. This range. Here you can see we are taking table to name column. And just hit the enter. So we have here list of all unique employees. If you want to sort it in ascending or descending order, you can use the sort function also before unique function. Just use the sort. And in the sort index, it's optional because we have only one column. We can put here one or we can keep it blank. So put another comma. Now for the ascending order, we will keep here one. Or for descending order, we will keep here minus one. So let's keep here one for the ascending order and just hit the enter. So we are getting the ascending order of employee list. Now to get the skill set list, what we will do, we will use here filter function. Filter. And I'll go to the seat 1 and I'll take the array of skill set. So here you can see we are taking table 2 skill set. Comma. In the include we will put the condition. So select this range. Equal to come to the seat 2 and select this range. Seat 2 B3. And if it is empty just so blank and close the bracket. So we are getting the list of first employee the skill set list. Now we can show this in the ascending or descending order also if you want. Then you can use here sort function and sort index by default it will be one. We have only one column. We don't require this sort order. You can put here ascending or descending, whatever you want. Okay. Now we want this as a comma separated list for the first time. So we will use here text join function. Text join. Delimiter we will use in the inverted comma, comma space and then put the comma here. If it is blank, ignore true and then put the comma. The, these are the text. Now just close the delimit and hit the enter. So we have the comma separated list here. If I will fill this down, I will get the list for each employee. Alright friends. So that is how you can add this. Now you can add the new employee or you can add the new skill set automatically. It will take here using this formula. 
Now the another method is we can use the power pivot method. Then we can use the concatenate x function in the DAX. I will show you. It is also quite easy. Let's go to the seat one. Select this table. You can click anywhere on the table. Then go to the power pivot tab. If this tab is not available in your Excel, you can watch our power pivot related playlist wherein you will learn how to add the power pivot in your Excel ribbon. Now I'll go to here add to data model. Let's click here. All right. We will not make any change here. Just click on pivot table here. So it will create a pivot table. Select new worksheet here. We want to create the pivot table on the new worksheet. All right. Let's take here name, and we will take here comma separated skill set to create the new major. You can go to the power pivot window here, and we have here majors. Click on new major. Major name. Let's put here skill set list. Okay. Now in the formula, we will use concatenate x. If you will start typing here, you will see this concatenate x. Here we will provide the table name first. We know it is table two, comma. Expression we will provide here column name. So I will use here table two, skill set, comma. Delimiter will be in the inverted comma, comma space, and. Then the order expression again we can use the skill set, comma the order we will take here ascending order and just close the bracket. Just click on OK or you can click on check formula so it can show first if there is any error you can fix it and then click on OK. All right. So it has added the skill set. We don't need grand total here, so we can go to the design and then grand totals and of the rows and columns. So this is ready. Okay. So friends, that is how you can add the comma separated lists and you can use this data transformation method in your daily report or daily dashboard. I hope you have enjoyed this video, friends. If you like this video, please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos. Thank you so much for watching.